City of Omaha receives an average of 16,000 complaints about homes or lots that need to have the grass mowed or trees trimmed. John Chapman tells us last year work crews went out to more than 200 times or homes to mow, trim, or rake. Robert Abraham says he didn't even know he was on the list and didn't know he owed the city $228 for work done around his home. The only big issue I've had with them is that branch and we've got a dispute whether it disturbs the sidewalk or not. Go out and look and it doesn't come in the area of the sidewalk. So I told them just to forget it and they dropped it, I guess. But Robert's name is on the list. City officials tell us they work with property owners and give them plenty of time before they come out and clean up. After that, the charges go to the office of Douglas County Treasurer John Ewing and a lien is attached to the property. If they ultimately don't pay, then those go into our tax lien sale, just like delinquent property taxes. And if they have a tax lien already, then the person who's bought that tax lien in the past has the ability to also pick up that special assessment. City inspectors were called for work to be done on 242 properties this year. That came to more than $70,000 in fees. Ewing says collecting those fees from property owners can be difficult and depends on what kind of property it is and who owns it. If it's someone who just didn't have the ability to maybe mow their yard or remove their snow, but are occupying owners of the property. Those are probably going to be more likely to be collected on. If it's a vacant lot, things like that, then it's just going to continue to accumulate probably. Now there's that little branch that's sticking out and you can see where I cut that one off and that was before I got a complaint. Most likely Robert will eventually pay his $228 when and if he figures out he owes the city. He would get the lien off his property and the city would get paid for the work that was done. If it's paid, then the city gets their investment back. If it's not paid, then the city is losing money or whoever the taxing entity is that has gone out and done the work. On your side in Omaha, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. Ewing tells us right now the county has more than $600,000 in special assessments out there. This is for back taxes and other fees.